Okay, team. I've been getting a lot of questions about my artifact weapon in my towns. I mean, like, a lot. Hundreds per day. So, I guess I'll just make a video about it so it's easier to respond to all the people that are constantly asking because I can't really answer them all. So, firstly, what's my artifact path? Kind of looks like this. It's not finished. It's pretty low, but basically you go like this. And you go first this or third this. It doesn't really matter. It's only 16 levels, so. And then I think I'm gonna skip this and just go this way to get this one as fast as possible. This is my assassination artifact. This is what I level. That's how I did it. Don't know if it's the best. Might be. And this is my sub trait, which is meh, a fair bit better. Still not great. It's almost 23 actually. I went this all the way down. I stopped it in energetic stabbing and then went back. I leveled my gut ripper, my cat like reflexes, and I'm going up actually. I'm not getting a carry so I do know it's better damage, but I kind of like my shallow blades duration so. I don't know, maybe it would have been better if I leveled my carousel because it's actually a lot of damage. Don't know. We'll see. Maybe I'll regret it. These are my talents. Yes, I do play Master Poisoner, and yes, it is better than Hamu in almost all situations except against Red Paladins that are running like a Dispel Cleave. And they keep dispelling your poisons with a druid or whatever. Then you can go Himo and you can go a bleed build. And these are my honor talents. They don't really change. I change the reinforced armor when sparring is useless, so spell cleaves. These these are my honor talents, and these are the sub ones. As you have noticed. I don't really play Outlaw, it's kind of in between, like Serotti is the control spec, Serotti has good control and good damage, well, and okay damage, and more than good control, and Outlaw is good control and good damage, it's kind of in between, and Assassination has very good, excellent damage and poor control. So I'm kind of playing the two kind of extremes. The talents, these are the talents and they don't ever change ever. I don't touch these talents ever against any setup. That's what they say. And the other talents, don't touch them ever except, you know, sparring when you don't need it. That's it. I know I'll probably miss something, like, what if I'm human, do I still play Relentless? Actually, yeah, I, I still do play Relentless, yeah. Depending on the situation, sometimes maybe I'll go Adaptation, like, let's say in 2v2, I'm Assassination, and I'm kind of... Oh, actually... I know I've used Adaptation once, and it was really good when I was... Uh, when I was focusing a priest and the other were like against the monk priest or whatever and the monk, I knew the monk is gonna go on Hydra and we don't really win if I turn on the monk and he turns on Hydra so I have to go on their priest and it's really good to take adaptation because it just trinkets every every second fear and it's really good we, we still lost though but that's besides the point Relentless is just a safer way to go. That's it. Don't think I missed anything. Yep. I hope that resolves all the questions. Alright, peace out.